A legal logjam formed in the Jacksonville area last month. The city saw a 1,200% increase in the number of lawsuits filed in March. Almost 7,000 cases filed in just one month. The flood of cases came as plaintiffs tried to get ahead of sweeping legal reforms approved by the Florida legislature. Tonight, on your side, Shan Schindler explains for those who missed the deadline, getting compensation for injuries and accidents just got a lot harder. This is an inhuman, it is a black-hearted bill. Florida Justice Association President Curry Padgett says a new law designed to limit lawsuits hurts Florida residents. This is an insurance industry power grab, grabbing our rights away to hold others accountable and responsible. The bill eliminates the right of plaintiffs to recoup their legal fees and cuts the amount of time to file suit from four years to two. But one of the most dramatic changes makes criminals financially responsible in civil lawsuits. In that case of Parkland, it would be the shooter. Attorney Barry Ansbacher says under the new law, a jury would have to consider how responsible shooter Nicholas Cruz was for the Parkland massacre. If a jury found him 99% responsible for the violence, he'd be 99% responsible for paying any financial damages. The legislators advocating it really recognize that the criminal's not going to pay restitution to the victims. What they're really doing is saying, we want to make property owners, business owners, schools less responsible for ensuring public safety. The lawyers will figure it out. Bill sponsor and St. Augustine Senator Travis Hudson says it eliminates plaintiffs feeling like they've won, quote, the litigation lottery. We trust our jury to make life and death decisions on capital punishment cases. Right. But now we're saying just because this name's going on a verdict form, they're going to get confused. I don't buy that argument. But Fleming Island lawmaker Jennifer Bradley urged lawmakers to keep criminals out of civil cases. Rapists and killers and people who abduct children are not negligent. They are criminals. Her amendment failed. Remember, this bill passed in 15 days. It was democracy in the dark. The bill's accelerated pace meant lawmakers severely limited public comment, as highlighted in this ad. More than 30 seconds just because I am disabled. I hate to cut you off. Though most bills take effect in July, this bill took effect March 24th, the day the governor signed it, effective immediately. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.